Nothing for you. King offers Wales 1.2 million pounds of Florida Vermont while asking Sussexes to pay back $200,000 for Meg's wedding dress. King Charles was left a myth by Prince William after being told he would have to pay to be a guest at his 1.2 million pound home near the Brecon Beacons, an insider has claimed. Charles bought Florida Vermont in Carmarthenshire in 2007 and made a habit of staying at the farmhouse for a couple of weeks over the summer. Fonia Vermont was purchased through the Duchy of Cornwall, which is now presided over by Prince William, following Charles' ascension to the throne. The father of three also inherited around £23 million in annual income from the Duchy of Cornwall. William is entitled to any surplus of the annual profit generated by the Duchy's property, land, or financial investments due to his status as heir apparent. The Prince of Wales has reportedly told his father he intends to hire out the three-bedroom house. Such a move would mean Charles will have to move his things out of the £1.2 million cottage. A source told the mail on Sunday, The king was quite miffed, but that was the deal. It means he can continue to stay there, but he will pay rent to the duchy, and the rest of the time it will be rented out. The king has agreed to pay for the topiary upkeep, as he doesn't want to see all the good work in the grounds go to waste. William and Kate reportedly decided to rent out the property in an attempt to support the local economy. King Charles described the Welsh home as a godsend during his stewardship of the Principality. Speaking in 2021, the then Prince of Wales said, Rather, 40 years too late probably, but it's been a wonderful opportunity at last to have somewhere in Wales. I can come whenever I can. I've always felt that it's an important part of holding this particular title. It took me years to establish somewhere. It wasn't through want of trying, but it was difficult to find the right place. I used to go to different other houses, which was very kind of people to lend them for a week or something, but it wasn't the same thing, obviously, until finally we found this, which has been a godsend, really. The property, surrounded by 192 acres of Carmarthenshire countryside, it was originally owned by William Williams in the 13th or 14th century. It's been almost five years since Harry and Meghan wed at Windsor Castle. The royal wedding occurred on May 19, 2018, 18 months after the couple announced their engagement. And boy, was it one for the history books. According to People, 1.9 billion people from around the world tuned in to witness the Duke and Duchess of Sussex exchange their vows. But it wasn't just the breadth of interest that made the royal couple's wedding special. Rather, it was the details of that extravagant day. Per Reader's Digest, Prince Harry and Meghan broke all kinds of royal protocol for their wedding. For instance, they held the wedding on a weekend rather than a weekday. Plus, they invited a slew of famous faces, including Meghan Suits co-stars, Oprah Winfrey, and even Elton John, who performed at the reception. And while much of the day was dictated by royal standards, the pair shook things up a bit by having a black choir perform a rendition of Stand By Me during the ceremony. Given the grand affair, it should come as no surprise that Harry and Meghan's wedding cost quite a bit of money. But did you know that it actually cost more than the wedding of William, the Prince of Wales, and Catherine, the Princess of Wales?